Hi everybody, today we're going to do our social studies uh, California unit where we're learning about all dif our different state symbols and uh, we are looking at the dog face butterfly which happens to be our state insect. So hopefully you've had a chance to see the video on the dog face butterfly. Um, and what I'd like to point out to you, this is the male butterfly. And the male butterfly, it's called dog face for, and it took me a little bit of um, time to really see it, but it's the silhouette or the side profile of a dog. So um, you can um, see it here. And I even looked up a few other online to see different images so I could really, would help me see it. So hopefully you had a chance to look at this. I also got a lot more information about this butterfly on a really great website. It is called, and I'll show it to you here, butterflyidentification.com. So this is another image of the dog face butterfly, the male. And reading through this gave me some information about, that will help me um, fill in the worksheet. So I'll go ahead and show you the worksheet that I have. And you should have this too in your packet. So we have a little bit of idea of what the butterfly looks like, but before we get into that, um, we can answer these different questions here. So it says the dog face butterfly lives. So we know since it's a state insect that the butterfly lives in California. When I was reading through it, what was pretty fascinating is I found out that not only does it live in our state California, but it only lives in California. And then to, um, to find out another interesting thing, that the butterfly even lives in something called chaparral. Now you're probably all thinking of our school, but chaparral is a type of, um, of plant community that's often found in the foothills. So I'm going to write, it lives only in California, and California is a proper noun, so make sure your C is nice and big, an uppercase, California. And then I'm gonna write below it, chaparral. And two R's, like rockin' roadrunner, only in California, chaparral. And when they say chaparral, it's usually, I just want you to think about what that would look like. It's kind of like our foothills, and I don't mean Foothill Boulevard or Foothill Drive, but um, the foothills of the mountains and sort of, and I might even draw it, kind of a mountainy foothill. And we are supposed to have some really amazing plants and animals that live in our foothills, sort of sages and maybe agaves, things like that, or yucca plants. All right, the next part here, it says eats. The dog face butterfly eats, and as it turns out, they eat flower nectar. So I can draw a beautiful flower. And one thing from this website, the butterfly identification, I found out that the butterfly prefers to eat purple flowers. So I'm going to draw a purple flower. Okay. So here's our challenge. We are going to draw a dog face butterfly here. And since I have a really big space, I think it would look amazing if we fill it. So I'm gonna first start with the insect's body and I'm going to um, sort of make almost like um, an ice cream cone shape. 
something like that. So not all straight edges here. And then have it come up. And then this is the body of the butterfly. Now I'm going to draw the head. Little feelers there. And then for this butterfly, let's go ahead and do the top part of the wing. I like to make mine a little bit more angular. And then the bottom part has a nice curve to it. And I'm not too worried about that I went over those edges. I just think this looks cool. So what's characteristic or what we see most with the male dog face butterfly is the idea that there's a silhouette or a profile of a dog here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my best. So kind of like the part of the head and then here and then maybe the neck. It's just the head of like a poodle or something. Kind of like that. And what's very characteristic is this dot here. Now, if this is too hard for you, you are more than welcome to draw the female version. And let me see if I can find a picture of what the female looks like. Oh, I have it here. Okay, so the female is really, I'm not sure if you can see real easily here. It's just yellow and then with a dot like that. So you could just color that in. So the colors of the female are going is going to be like a light yellow with a black dot. And then the colors of the male are, as you can see, a little bit more darker yellow. Some uh, even look almost orange. And then this blackish color here, a little bit of almost a purpley pink too. Okay, so. I have some of my pins here, or colored pencils, excuse me. So let's see. I'm going to start with the orange. And then the bottom part, I'm just going to do a dark yellow. These butterflies are really beautiful to try and um, do watercolors with. A lot of times in class we do our, um, we pull out our beautiful watercolor paints and you can do some really gorgeous butterflies this way. But for this, I think the pencils work just great. Okay. Now the body and then the outer wings are kind of a dark, or I have a black that works for me. I might even add a little bit of the purple to the, the wing though. This is coming together pretty nice. I'll tell you what, I was a little bit worried about doing this butterfly. I thought, ooh, I don't know. There's a lot of detail to it. I hope I don't mess it up but I did my best and it turned out pretty nice. Okay, now the two top um, parts of the wing, I'm gonna do the black on the outside here and here, and then I'm gonna come back in and shade this area too. So I'm gonna show you again what it looks like. Oops, I'm sorry, <laughs> silly, there we go. And I was looking at the caterpillar of the dog-faced butterfly, and it's much different from the monarch. I'm used to seeing monarch caterpillars in my garden that eat, like to eat the milkweed. But um, the caterpillar of the dog face, it's really just a green. And even the pupa or the larva, it definitely looks um, 
like a green color. It's a, probably a good camouflage color to be hiding underneath the, the delicious plants looking the, for food. Okay. Oh, that was some work. All right, now I'm gonna come in here and do the shading. What do you guys think? Do you see the little poodle there? Hard to tell. And I was thinking about adding a little bit darker orange. Maybe even a little bit of purple. Oftentimes, butterfly wings have an iridescent quality to them with a little bit of a op opacity or sh uh, shimmer. There we go. Wow, well, I would love it if any of you wanted to send me a picture of how yours turned out. All right, I'm proud of my work. Okay, so we're almost done here. We have interesting facts. So typically when you're, um, you're doing your science, you're identifying what um, characteristics, what it looks like, what it lives in. You can do drawings. You can also add um, words here. I might write purple flower. Purple flowers. Now these are not full sentences and that's okay because we're just listing. But when you come to this space here, we'd like you to write it into a full sentence. So interesting facts. So I can um, go back and think about all the things that I've learned about uh, our, our dog face butterfly. Um, and I'll just list a few things that you might wanna think about. Um, something that I read is that they are difficult to approach. That means if you were out trying to find this butterfly, you would have a hard time. You might spot it, but you once you got close to it, it might flutter away. I also learned that they are very fast flying butterflies, which is pretty cool. And then of course we learned that the female is a different color. The female is the yellow with the black dot where the male is the um, has this dog face look to it or design on its wing. And then the other really cool thing is I found out that in 1977, the, um, the US stamp, so thinking about stamps that go on letters, I'm trying to find it for you here, uh, they, um, they did a beautiful drawing or um, painting of a dog faced butterfly. So let's see if I can find it. Okay, here is the stamp of the dog faced butterfly. So this is a postage stamp that was designed in 1977. And you can see it says USA, that's the United States of America. Ooh, that's a really good drawing here. I can see the silhouette or the profile of that poodle right there. Very cool. Okay, so back to our interesting facts. I need to write in my complete sentence. I'm going to say, let's see. How about, I'm gonna talk about the dog face. The dog face. design, or this here, is only, do you remember, on the, is it male or female? That's right, the male. The dog face design is only on the male butterfly. The dog face design is only on the male butterfly. If you need to pause it, you can to um, do your sentence. I think I went a little fast there. All right, 
I have room. I'm going to write a second sentence here. Let's see. Well, I talked about the male butterfly. I think I should talk about the female butterfly. Be sure to do a capital at the beginning of your sentence. The female is, what color is it? Yellow with A, what color dot? That's right, black dot, period. And look here, I forgot to put our name. Sometimes we in uh, worksheets we'll see names to go at the top. This one here, it wants our name at the bottom. So please go ahead and write your name in your very best writing. All right, fantastic job. I'm so glad we did this together. Thanks guys. See you later.